Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from everyone's favorite Halo YouTuber. I'm Rehab, your favorite Halo YouTuber, and today we're talking HCS. Now we got tons going on as teams took a little break post HCS rally before they start competing again. There was an amateur open tournament this past Sunday and they played for a chance to play in Thursday's tournament that includes all of the bracket teams. But as players are starting to get ready to compete again, there are uh, a few things being raised to question. You can see Ace here in the best possible way. Halo Esports needs a little more structure, a place or website to go find rules, chat with admins, and forward planning because it's a little disorganized. I'm sure the Halo Ams would uh, agree with you on that if you saw my video a couple days ago. They uh, had a big problem with the open tournament this past Sunday. It was originally scheduled to be single elimination. The AMs gave some feedback and kind of fought to get double elimination. However, in doing so, 343 and HCS actually cut the team limit in half from 512 teams to 256 teams. And that caused a lot of uh, top level amateur teams to be unable to actually compete in Halo Infinite's open qualifier for seeding points for HCS Anaheim. There was tons of people complaining on Twitter and they were unable to really have like a straightforward back and forth with anyone other than just adding Tashi and flooding his uh, <laughs> at feed in on Twitter. And the pros feel the same way apparently because they feel like they're, you know, don't have a steady line of communication where they know all the rules, what exactly is going on. They feel like they're kind of up in the air. They know they're playing on Thursday, but uh, they need a little more structure. I mean, personally, I know eSports Engine is running all the competitive, but they also run their tournament through Faceit, so you have to, like, combine the two websites, link them together, your accounts. There doesn't really seem to be much information on Faceit or eSports Engine regarding this tournament other than it being on Thursday. And you can see Ace down here, you know, Eli the Ninja stating he's going right to Heinz, who works on the HCS team. Um, former pro, great dude. I don't know personally, but big fan of Heinz when he was still playing. Ace is stating, you know, sort of lacking the MLGPro.com forum page. We need a substitute for that. Everyone loves the old MLGPro.com forum days when everyone would just talk, uh, you know, professional Halo gossip, I guess, you know, about team changes and whatnot. So really missing the MLGPro.com forums. So staying on board with Ace here, you know, he's calling it now because he feels like he needs to. But uh, he's calling for some V2 settings of Halo Infinite and he wants them to come in pretty quickly. He's saying some of the stuff's just too OP and it's not going to last. Think, you know, Fuel Rod on Truth Team Slayer. That weapon was very overpowered back when that was uh, part of the Halo 5 circuit. And he says, we need a man to take this under their wing. And you got to love Frosty coming in down here. No way you're bringing up the Fuel Rod on Truth TS like that. I'm about to have another nightmare. If you guys remember that, um, there was a double reload where Frosty actually reloaded the Fuel Rod um, and it actually made him double reload so when he took it out to use it again he didn't have ammo it kind of led to a loss that was pretty hurtful for frosty but yeah tons of pros have been complaining about the uh, halo infinite competitive sandbox obviously the mangler if you saw my video yesterday i was talking about the hold this metal from lucid he's an animal with the uh, mangler with the two shot drop br cleanup um, it's a really quick way to finish people out there's also the Mangler one-shot beatdown that is pretty overpowered. I don't know how it should go. I'm not a professional level player by any means, but the Mangler kind of, maybe it's just too versatile because it works like a uh, Mauler in Halo 3, right, which was used in competitive settings, but you had to be a lot more precise with the Mangler than the Mauler. The problem with the Mangler is that it also works as a pistol and can be used at medium range pretty, pretty well. And uh, obviously the two-shot drop for the BR cleanup is super overpowered. I don't think that should stay in competitive settings. You also think of things like Sword on Recharge, that's super overpowered. There's always someone sitting crouched in a stronghold with that thing or, you know, hiding in pipes, defending the oddball. So that can be really frustrating. Uh, maybe something that people would like to see removed. Obviously, I don't compete at the highest level, like I said before. So we'll let the pros duke that one out. You also see down here, Mint Blitz, you know, needs more sniping. But I assume if we get Pit and Arrows and Guardian, that'll fill that role. Um, I don't know if he's referring to maybe remakes down the line. Obviously, Halo being a, uh, a live service, they're going to be adding maps down the line. And maybe they'll be doing remakes like Pit, Arrows, and Guardian. I personally would just love to see a map where there's two snipers. Um, it really allows teams to get set up and just duke it out with the snipers. You know, lo nice little sniper battles between, I don't know, Snipe Down and Frosty maybe. Things you'd love to see in Halo, and uh, there's really only one sniper map? There's only a sniper on Live Fire, right? Unless you want to count the shock rifle. 
on recharge. So more sniping would definitely be good. I would love to see a two uh, sniper map. And let's not forget the dynamo nades. Shock nades are super overpowered on Aquarius. Um, and that's something that you might want to remove from competitive play. It gives you tons of information where players are, and it honestly does so much damage. And then, of course, we get a nice little teaser from Ace. SSG finally has an official team. They uh, obviously had Formal, Formal left to the Sentinels, and then they filled his spot with Tusk. With Formal being out on the Sentinels now, obviously, I spoke in a video earlier about SSG most likely being the best place for him to land, and uh, Ace kind of tweet tweets out that they have an official team and then if you scroll down space station with a little teaser a formal announcement coming soon um obviously this means that formal is coming back to ssg in replacing tusk again you would assume um nothing against him and uh it's great for formal to finally get back onto a top eight team after you know placing fourth with sentinels you know good placing he would have loved to win but at the same time um you know, he landed in a good home. SSG plays top eight with very little practice, so they have high potential with formal. Honestly, I just feel bad for Tux. If you've been following the timeline, you know, all the way back, they were slowly releasing the roster one at a time with um, announcement videos. They had one more spot to fill. Um, and then, obviously, Formal, who was going to be on phase, ended up joining SSG. When Formal left... If you notice, they had an announcement video ready to go for Tusk, um, which kind of means that Tusk was going to be their fourth until Formal slid in and took his spot. No disrespect to Tusk, but you have to take Formal in that situation. He's very high accoladed esports gaming machine. Um, and, you know, if we have an opportunity to grab Formal, you're going to have to take it. So my, uh, my heart goes out to Tusk, who is losing a spot to Formal most likely a second time. Uh, you know, he's a good player, and it sucks this is how it worked out for him. And last thing for today, we have an article here by Jarrett Kappelman. Shout out to you, bro, on Deserto. Um, and he's saying that the Halo Infinite Esports is switching back to Xbox after HCS PC crashes. If you watched day one of HCS Raleigh at all, um, you know that it was plagued and plagued and plagued by PC crashes and champ bracket. They were all playing on the PC version of Halo Infinite and they had a tough time keeping everyone in the game. Saturday and Sunday, they actually switched back over to the Xbox Series X and they had a much smoother experience. Now, I think that's a really good idea until they can get the PC crashing issues uh, all sorted out and get that build up into the Xbox Series X quality. The problem is that with the uh, champ bracket originally being on PC, all of the professional players and top amateurs have been playing on PC. And as you can see down here from Lethal, hopefully we get some info if we'll be on the Series X. Uh, already hard enough finding them in stock sooner than better. Obviously, Tashi replied to that. Yeah, we aren't going to wait very long. It's Xbox on this PC proven fast. We'll target PC uh, for Kansas City. So Anaheim is apparently going to be back on the Xbox Series X. And if you're in the market for an Xbox Series X, you know that it's incredibly difficult to come by. Um, still plagued by, you know, the chips issue where there's not much in stock and they're having trouble getting as many made as people want. So if you have one, be happy you already have one. I'm sure that tons of the pros didn't buy one because they were just, you know, assuming they didn't need it since they were playing on PC. But that could cause some issues with them practicing on PC and then having to switch over to Xbox for the event. Obviously, they're the best players in the world. They can adapt and they'll figure it out. But it would be nice to practice on what you're going to be playing on tournament day. And that's everything I have for you today on HCS and what's going on leading up to the tournament on Thursday. If you guys enjoyed, please consider leaving a like as it helps push the video out to a wider audience and it lets me know that you like this style of content. Maybe I'll work on doing more videos like this one. And subscribe for more Halo content. I upload every single day, so hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on tomorrow's video. I also stream every day over on twitch.tv slash rehearsalquitters if you want to check me out over there. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Later.